Who are Rhesus and Memnon? Let me just Google that quickly. Rhesus, the Thracian king, has arrived a little late to the party. Fashionably late, you could say. But the chance to be known as Troy's last hope and saviour is all too tempting. A warrior king can smell the challenge of war like a barbecue in your neighbour's backyard. The Thracian deities are the best deities. And as you mass devotion towards them, you'll be able to spend it on rituals, benefiting the settlements and armies under your command. Divine offerings, holy sacrifices, religious mysteries, and sacred initiations. So yeah, classic cult stuff. Rhesus really has a thing for the forest regions. Perhaps he just loves nature. Or perhaps it's because with each one he conquers, the chances of finding another new army to help his cause increase. The new countless host mechanic means you're never quite short on soldiers, as long as you keep conquering those trees. Though they can't reinforce your other armies or occupy settlements, these die-hard men of the woods are large in numbers and will not count towards your administrative burdens. With a strong, decisive charge against his enemies, Rhesus will unite all of the Thracian tribes and factions under his banner, a force in the north not to be reckoned with. But what about the south? When your half-cousin steals the wife of a particularly angry Spartan, you're going to have to attend that family gathering. But it's fine. Memnon has a soft spot for Troy, so it's no big deal for him to get involved. And with the backing of the Pharaoh, his resolve to help Troy in its hour of need cannot be matched. Calling on the diverse units of the Pharaoh's various armies, from Egypt, Ethiopia, Canaan, and Susa, Memnon, king of Ethiopia, leads a conglomeration of soldiers up towards Troy. In a single turn, an army can be raised for battle, ready to roam the lands for resources and conquest, horde style. As a well-traveled, resourceful strategist, Memnon has the ability to assign camp followers to his armies, providing unique strategic actions before battle. Want to reveal that cheeky unit hiding behind a tree? The Outrider Scout has you covered. Fancy raising the morale of your men? Hire an Ethiopian musician to play Wonderwall. With swiftly moving armies, and a wide range of cultures at his disposal, each with his own strategic advantages. King Memnon brings a whole new level of defense to Troy, and his prowess in battle is said to rival that of Achilles himself. Along with the 49 new units, new buildings, and new royal decrees, in Rhesus and Memnon we're adding in a few extra treasures. We've added in island region trading, making distant island trading far easier. You billionaire, you. Balanced deal, Players can now optimize deals with positive evaluation by requesting an automatic single barter, removing the micromanaging of resources for optimal barters. Instant construction. Can't wait for that new temple of your favorite god to open up? Throw some gold at the workers to get the job done instantly. Settlement abandonment. Now you can abandon all those old embarrassing settlements from your young years in return for some of the building costs. Lastly, we've got Embed Informant, a new diplomatic action that reveals a faction for a set amount of turns for the cost of some gold. This will help stop all those pesky fog of war attacks. Fight for honor. Fight for glory. Fight for Troy.